Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another get it all done. It's already been a super busy day. It's later in the day. It is almost three o'clock. We had a full morning. We went and did some Christmas shopping. We had parent teacher conferences and now I'm ready to get out of these clothes and put something cozy on and just be home and get everything done that I need to get home, need to get done on the home front. So I just wanted to say hey and let's get right into today's video. I mentioned we had Christmas shops a little bit earlier in the day, so I did record that for you. And I want to give a huge thank you to Chime for sponsoring today's video. If you haven't heard of Chime before, Chime is an award-winning financial app and debit card that millions of Americans use to manage, save, and spend their money. I absolutely love using my Chime card because they give me resources to make smart money moves that promote financial well-being and a general sense of peace of mind. After signing up for my Chime checking account, I enrolled in their optional high yield savings account and it's so helpful for us to use to reach our financial goals. You can now use Chime to pay anyone. Members get it as fast as a text and non-members can claim funds to their bank account without fees. Chime also offers the free debit overdraft on up to $200 in debit card purchases and cash withdrawals with SpotMe for eligible members. It's like overdraft protection, but better. And applying for a Chime account is completely free and there is no opening deposit or minimum balance required. And if you're one of the first 1,000 people to sign up for a Chime account using my promo code BSTINS, I'll put that on screen here and everything will be linked in the description box below. But if you sign up for your Chime account using my promo code BSTINS at www.chime.com slash get10, Chime will deposit $10 in your account if you activate your Chime debit card within 30 days of enrolling. So thanks again, Chime, for sponsoring today's video. Now the next thing we're doing is just doing some laundry. I'm finally doing my own laundry, which is really nice because I do everyone else's laundry and then I wait until I have absolutely no undergarments or socks to wear. So we are finally doing my laundry. I didn't say I was gonna fold it. So I still have to do that today as I'm doing this voiceover. Next up on my list, I got some coffee. It's, it's late for coffee, but I just needed it. Um, but we're gonna be making some homemade gluten-free bread, and this is the best bread I've ever had, and it's really hard to not like eat the entire thing in a day. That's how good it is, so let's get started on that. The first thing I'm doing is just pre-measuring all my ingredients. I know it seems like an extra step, but for me, the kitchen stays much cleaner when I do it this way, so this is just my method. I will uh, link the recipe down below, but this recipe is from mamaknowsglutenfree.com and I love it because I can just um, throw everything into my new bread maker and it's as easy as that. The bread maker um, actually has a gluten-free button and the bread comes out amazing in under three hours. It's so delicious. So anyway, here are all of our ingredients. You're gonna need one and a half cups of warm milk. I melted uh, my butter in with my warm milk in the microwave. It was perfect that way. Um, so we're gonna do one fourth cup of unsalted butter, two eggs beaten, a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, a half cup of honey, three cups of all-purpose gluten-free flour, a teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoons of xanthan gum, and one and three fourth teaspoons of rapid yeast. So first we put in all of our wet ingredients. Now I'm adding in our flour and all of that. And then we're just gonna make a little hole in the middle with um, our finger and put the yeast inside of that close the machine and that's literally how easy it is. And like I said, it is absolutely delicious. All right, so we got the bread in the bread maker. It literally makes my life. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's so nice to have fresh homemade bread, especially gluten-free because store-bought gluten-free bread is not the best. So anyway, back upstairs to switch the laundry and then I'm gonna go ahead and make this mom binder. It's something that I just came up with in my head to organize my thoughts because I just feel like I can't keep anything straight right now and I feel like overwhelmed pretty much all the time. So I'm hoping that this will help me. I think it will. I just need a place where it's like, basically like I can just write out all my thoughts. I use my planner every single day, but this is different. This is where I'm gonna be able to like insert different pages and have different tabs and dividers. This is like, a tool that will work alongside with your planner. Stay with me so you can see like my vision come to life, but first I need to switch this laundry. I'm 
laundry is in the dryer and I am starting on my mom binder. I've been thinking about this binder for months now, so I'm so glad to finally do it. Um, it's just a way to organize your brain and you can customize this however you need. Right now I am on PicMonkey just making some things for my binder. I'm making a Christmas list for the kids to go through and see what I got and making a Christmas list for family, but I'm just showing you here how I made that list and then I'll, I will eventually do like a whole binder tour and show you exactly what I did. So we are pausing the mom binder right now because it's gonna late and I need to make some dinner. Um, so we are doing a super easy dinner. We are Hello. gonna cook up some shrimp. Hi, baby. And this is just like a quick rice. So you just put that in a pot with a couple tablespoons of water, call it a day, and try to make it like some type of stir fry or something along those lines. Hi, Evs. <laughs> So mine and Chris's dinner is almost done. It smells amazing. Super, super easy. I'm probably gonna add some liquid aminos to the rice. I'm also throwing these in the oven for the kids. Um, again, it's super easy. But Chris is doing bath time right now, but these cookies are the best. And you can even eat them raw because there's no eggs in them. But anyway, yeah, I'm trying to do this with one hand, so let me go. Okay, dinner is actually delicious, so easy. And our bread is done. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's amazing. Perfect. Their minds when they see this plate that I picked up today at Joanne's. They were on sale for only $2. Okay, it's almost 10 o'clock. 
Um, the kids are down. I've been working on making um, like a label for the binder and just finishing printing everything out. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and finally put the binder together. So I just grabbed this SVG file from Etsy. I'm sure that I could have made something like this on my own, but that is one thing I'm not very good at still is like designing with different fonts and everything on the Cricut. I just, you know, I need to have the time to figure it out one day. I've had a Cricut for a long time now. Um, actually a really long time. Back, I think I got it when we went to Disney or one and only time we went to Disney years ago. Um, but I still like, just don't know how to do the different fonts and how to make everything like set up nicely so i need to sit down and figure that out one day but yeah so i just grabbed this for two dollars on etsy and i thought it would be perfect for my binder here I'm just putting our dividers and our printed sheets into our binder and then labeling um, the little tabs here to what I need and again this is completely customizable it just I can't even explain how much this has helped me if you can go to your local Dollar Tree and just grab some things you could totally make this binder yourself and it I'm sure could help you if you're like me and just need everything in one spot Next, I'm doing my brain dump. I know I mentioned this before, but I, lately I have just been feeling completely like overwhelmed to the point where I don't even know which task to do next because I have so many things on my mind and so many things to do and that I just keep forgetting about and you know, we don't get a lot of sleep around here, so that doesn't help either. Um, so doing something like a brain dump is very, very good for you to get everything out of your mind onto paper and then you can kind of sort through organize and refer back.
Okay, my mom binder is done and I feel 10 pounds lighter. So in here, I have little tabs. I'll show you up close. Okay, so here's my tab. And you could put whatever, you know, pertains to your life. But I have holiday, work, to buy, chores, miscellaneous, Carter, Tanner, and Ella. And the reason I don't have Everly is because she's not in school yet. This is where I'll keep some of their school forms and calendars and things like that. Um, but let me just go over to the back here. Um, this is what I made on the computer. December videos so that I can write them down and plan them here. Um, this is the family Christmas list who we still have to purchase things for. Um, so this will just be nice to like keep track of everything. And then I've gotten them so much stuff like with sales and I started shopping early. So I need to go through everything that is on my list to do as well. Just go through all of their toys and write everything down here. And then it's so easy to like get caught up in everything you have to do. And like the holiday season feels stressful, but that's not what it's about at all. So I really want to make a bucket list with Chris and the kids and just make sure we do things that we're enjoying because that's what it's all about. Of course, it's about, you know, Jesus, but I also mean like enjoying time with your family. Um, and then this I put back here because we always have like a birthday party that I'm planning. So I made this a long time ago. It's on my website, um, which is in the middle of getting revamped. So stay tuned for that. Um, but I just love this. It's a good way to keep track because next up I'm planning a Roblox party for my tan man in January. So that'll be here before you even know it. Um, so yeah, and then I wanted to show you something else. I did a little brain dump here because I feel like I told you earlier, I just feel very like overwhelmed lately because there's been a lot of extra things like birthday parties and holidays. So it's just like added on to the list, which again, um, birthday parties and holidays are great, but they do just add like extra things that you have to do. Um, so what I did is just like wrote down everything on my brain here. Don't worry, I have nails on that list. My nails are so bad, I need to refill like nobody's business. Um, so I did it with, I went through my brain dump with highlighters. There's literally no rhyme or reason. I just wrote whatever is on my mind. You know, I've been doing this forever because it really helps people like me that have anxiety and have a hard time concentrating. I just get overwhelmed and I will shut down. So I need to do things like this. Um, sorry. So you can see I did a holiday in green, chores in pink, um, work in orange, and then shopping in yellow. And I just kind of went through and wrote everything down and highlighted things. Um, but if you're ever feeling overwhelmed or like you just can't even focus on the task at hand, this is a great thing to do. And this is what this whole binder is for because lately I just like can't keep anything straight in my mind, I feel like. So I'm also going to add like work, due dates and stuff to this, but you know, I'll do that later. So the next thing that I'm doing now that that is all done, like again I said it feels so good to have that. I need it right now. I really, I need this in my life. Even if you have multiple kids in school and you, sorry I keep looking at the side camera on my new camera. Even if you have kids in school and um, you know you just need to keep track of their papers and things like that, this is great. Um, so the next thing that I'm doing is these. So I want to at least try one to see how it comes out. I got these for the teachers. And of course, as soon as I saw them, I was like, I could make these really cute, not just red, put some little gifts in here. And then I was like, let me just like search YouTube. And I searched YouTube. I put in like Dollar Tree sleds just to see what came up. And of course, so many people did these amazing DIYs. So this one woman, I'll try to find her video and link it below, found these also at the Dollar Tree, I don't know what they are. Your universal tool hooks. Um, so you just go ahead and you can leave them silver or you could spray paint them. I would, I would love to spray paint them gold, but for now I'm just gonna just leave them silver and then we'll see if we get to that point, if we have time to spray paint them gold. So you just are gonna paint this whatever color you want. I wanna paint mine white. So got this from Michaels. 
hopefully it'll stick and turn out nicely but they do sell uh, white acrylic paint at the Dollar Tree but mine was sold out um, so that's why I just had to get this from Michael so let's at least get the first coat on and see how it looks All right guys, so I just want to say I just got done editing and making a thumbnail um, for Everly's birthday party prep. So um, I wanted to add that and just get it all done too. So anyway, it is really late. It is um, 12.44, I know. I know. Um, but there's just not enough time in the day. Uh, my goal in my New Year's resolution is, I guess you'd say, is in the new year to focus on sleeping and getting to bed at a decent time. But anyway, the last thing that I'm doing in today's video, I grabbed these baskets today at Target and I love them, they're perfect size. I just wanted to surprise them and put out, these are all their old um, Christmas stuffed animals. So I'm gonna put them out with um, some of their old Christmas books. So. And Rookie will be happy about this. This is his favorite squeaker toy. So yeah, this is actually mine from, I can't get rid of it. It's so like ugly that it's cute. It's from like 1994. I love this thing. It's literally like so nostalgic. It brings back so many amazing memories. I love this thing. That'll go out too. Um, and then my mom crocheted these for the kids last year. They're so cute. She's so talented. She needs to open an Etsy shop. We would tell her that. Um, here are old Christmas cards. I'll have to show you at the end. Now I'm just going to put out some books. I hope that they fit cutely. Okay, so these are all very nostalgic for them too because we've collected these over the years and I think, I know that they're gonna be so happy and I know you guys think that I'm so extra with like Christmas and birthdays and stuff but I just want it to be so magical for them while they're still, you know, in that magical phase of their childhood. Also, I love letting my kids decorate a Christmas tree because look at the bottom here. <laughs> very ornament heavy down here I just got these the other day from something you would love and I think it's so great because now I can finally like remember all of my kids stats from when they were born um, as she makes these she's a small shop and love supporting her but um I gave them these ornaments I told them to go decorate the tree with them and I didn't realize they're literally all in the same spot it gets redecorated on the daily but you know, once they're grown, I can have like the pretty like themed Christmas tree. But right now, this is my favorite. I know I tell you guys that every single year, but my favorite is just my kids decorating the tree with their stuff. It just makes my heart happy. <laughs> These two dinosaurs right here. Okay, and then last but not least, I have to show you our Christmas cards for the year. And 
Ella. That's just the boys. Added Ella into the mix. That's just Carter. So I'm missing my Christmas card from last year. Huh, I gotta find that. So 2014, 2015, 2016, 17, and 18. So I'm missing a couple of Christmas cards, but I'll show you these. 2014, graduated nursing school. Um, just told Chris that he was going to be a dad for the first time. Here's Romeo and Rookie. Oh, I miss him so much. Um, when we bought our first house, got married. What else? It's Carter's first Christmas, I swear. He and Everly are identical. Do you guys think that too? I think they look so much alike. Um, and then this here, little tan man in my belly. Then this is just the boys. And then Ella joined us. And like I said, I have to find those other Christmas cards so I can check. Okay, now that it's almost 1 a.m., I'm going to bed. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again to Chime for sponsoring this video. And stay tuned. Um, I'm sure you'll see it in either another video or on my Instagram to see how the teacher gifts came out.